Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're doing something a little different. We're taking a look at Ghost BSD. It is based on the most recent free BSD, and it's in the Make Desktop. But before we get started, please do me a favor, like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. So this is Ghost BSD. I've booted it up into a virtual machine. Now there was a caveat to it. If you want to try Ghost BSD in a virtual machine, you have to assign the virtual machine a minimum of four gigabytes of RAM. I tried it with three, didn't work. I was having issues, clicked over, bumped the RAM up to four. Now it works. We're in the virtual machine and as you can see we've got two panels one on the bottom one on the top the panel on the bottom you have an option here to click here to hide all windows and show the desktop and then over here you've got all four of your desktops that are available to click on so if you got to have different apps open in different areas you change it right down here between the four desktops up top you've got date and time obviously you've got your battery you've got internet and you've got your sound I guess a right click you can go straight to sound preferences right there you can set up your output volume your hardware inputs outputs whether you're using a microphone, whether you're using a headset, and your applications that you might have attached to it. There's none so far, so let's close out of that. Right-clicking on the panel, you can add to panel properties, reset all panels, delete this panel, create a new panel, and then about panels. Properties general, we can make it bigger. Let's go ahead and bump it up just a hair. And as you can see, it's getting bigger. I'll leave it right there and we will close that. And I believe you can do the same thing with the bottom. So you can make your panels top and bottom bigger. So let's close out of that. What I did notice is when you do open something, let's see Ghost BST's home, your panel bar shows up on the bottom panel and not your top panel. And then of course, if you wanted to switch to a second desktop and open up whatever you wanted to do over here, here, then you can switch back and forth, obviously. So we will go ahead and close out of that. Up top, you've got applications, places, which you just click on that shows your home folder, desktop, computer, network, connect to a server, your mate search tool, and then system preferences, administration, control center, help, about mate, log out, or shut down. Let's go ahead and look at preferences. You've got hardware, internet and network, look and feel, and then personal. Let's check out appearance. And as those load, you've got a custom appearance, which is the one we're on now. We've got Vimix, Vimix Dark, or Vimix Light. I guess if you click to Vimix Dark, it switches your theme over to a dark mode. I'm just going to leave it in there for right now. And then you've got your backgrounds that you can choose from, and they just populated. We've got the one we have open right now, and I guess we could switch it over to that. I'm just going to leave it on that one. That's a pretty good looking background right there. Let me move that out of the way so you can see. Fonts, you can change your fonts up here if you want to. You can change the size of them. If you want to add a new font, you can go here. Over here, it shows you rendering options, monochrome, best shapes, best contrast, and then sub pixels smoothing interface. You can show icons in the menus, buttons, show icons on the buttons. So that's just a little bit of things you can change there with the appearance. Go back over to system. You got administrative, which would be your print settings, software station, update station. So let's go check out the software station. And I had to put in a password. That password was root. Okay. It just populated. And as you can see, it kind of has a synaptic package manager look to it in a way. Over here, it'll show you right now that these are installed and the ones that are unchecked are not installed. I guess the first thing I want to do is just do a basic search. I've done a basic search for OBS. And as you can see down here, we've got OBS. So you do have the ability to run OBS on Ghost BSD. You would just click it right here. What you would do is you'd click OBS Studio. And if you wanted these plugins, you just click all of them at the same time. And when you're done picking all those plugins, you would go up here and click apply. It would be highlighted. So that's pretty impressive. Let's see if they have Caden Live. And there is Caden Live right there. All you'd have to do is click and go over here and click apply. So you do have OBS, you have Caden Live. Let's see if you can get LibreOffice. Okay, that's loaded up. Version 7.2.04. Yes, you can get LibreOffice and all the language packs. One other one I want to check is GIMP. And you can get GIMP. There's the GIMP app, 2.10.24. So we'll now go to graphics. You've got Eye of Mate Image Viewer, Mate Color Selection, Shotwell, Internet. You've got Firefox Web Browser. Let's open that. Okay, so Firefox has opened. Let's go over here and see if we can get rid of that title bar. It's just taking up too much room. Go over here, get rid of that title bar. All right, next thing we're going to do is do a search for Go. Ghost BSD. And there's ghostbsd.org. That's their website. Simple, elegant desktop BSD operating system. And it tells you down here, simple, elegant, it's BSD, quick fix, Ghost BSD, ISO now available, different ISOs that you can download. So they have a pretty decent looking website. Back to applications. We'll go to office. We've got actual document viewer, evolution, mate dictionary, programming. You've got Glade, sound and video, rhythm box, 
VLC system tools. You've got Kaja, which is your file manager. Let's open that up. And there is your file manager right there. You can make these bigger, I do believe. Let's see. Yes, you can. You have the custom ability to be able to make your icons bigger. You've got your usual suspects over here. I think they're solid. You can't move them. No, you cannot move them. That's your Kaja file manager on Ghost BSD. Go to hardware. Displays, keyboard, keyboard, shortcut, mouse, power management, sound, time and date, control center. Let's go to the make control center in Ghost BSD. When you come over here, you've got your print settings, software station, update station, keyboard shortcuts, keyboard displays, mouse, power management, sound, time and date manager, network proxy, appearance, main menu, pop-up notifications, windows, station tweak, screensaver, about me, assistive technology, file management, preferred applications, startup applications. You can come over here to groups. You can look it up as administrator hardware, internet, network, look and feel, personal. Pretty impressive. It's been a while since I've been in a BSD distro. Ghost BSD is pretty impressive. It's pretty snappy. It feels pretty good. If you've been on Linux for a while and you want to see what the other side's about, download Ghost BSD. Throw it on a USB or open it up in a virtual machine. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. It's rather crisp, clean. It is BSD. There are fewer users of it than there are Linux. Take that for what it's worth. Very snappy system. Very quick. Easy to get around. Very familiar, especially if you're familiar with the Mate desktop environment. It just gets you simple, clean, to the point, and lets you work. And the applications that are available for it, in line with the same thing you're going to get with Linux. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching the video today, and I'll see you in the next video.